Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I wanna to talk to you about our basement cream model. Okay, so we decided that this year would be the year that we finished the basement. The basement is unfinished, or it was. We actually started this project a couple of weeks ago and I've been a big slacker on YouTube, so I apologize for that, you guys. Um, I've also been a little sick. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or kind of in my nose, but I've got like this head cold thing going on. Maybe it's allergies. Anyways, um, we started this a few weeks ago, so what you're gonna see is what it looked like before we started any of the renovations, and then I'll do another video in a couple weeks to update you on it. I am hoping that it will be done in about three weeks, fingers crossed, but you just never know with some of these things. We've had a couple setbacks um, in terms of flooring and just broken tile and stuff like that. But I'm excited to show you what it looked like and what our plans for it are. Also on the blog, I will have a full blog post that I'll put in the description with kind of all my inspiration and photos so you guys can see. And then when I do one when we're done, you'll be able to compare and contrast them. Anyways, here is what it looks like, or what it looked like a couple weeks ago. Okay, so this is our new side of the basement. It runs under our family room and our kitchen and our dining area and there's a massive step down right here um this side we're going to be doing a couple of things over here um first of all this space is going to continue to be a tv space so my husband will have we'll have a different tv on the wall um and then we'll get a couch for this area over here um over here you guys can see that pipe kind of coming out of the ground right there. This is a rough in for a bathroom in this space. We were going to try to uh, move that pipe kind of in this little nook space, but it will cost a fortune. So we are leaving it. There's going to be a small wall bump out here. Um, and then we're not going to finish the bathroom right now. We honestly, we already have three full bathrooms in this house. And then in the barn that we did the renovation on, we have another full bathroom. So I don't want to clean another bathroom. And um, there's always issues when you have a bathroom in the basement with going number two. <laughs> um, so we're just going to skip it for now. And if we want to put it in later, we can do that. Um, this space under the stairs, we're going to make kind of a wine bar area. In our old house, we actually put a book nook in here for the kids, but our kids are getting a little older now and we just wanted to do something that we felt like would last a little bit longer for us to enjoy. So um, we're gonna put the wine bar in this space instead. I'm not totally sure how it's gonna work yet with this step up because you can see that's the old side of the basement over there. Um, usually, oh yeah, you can see them. Um, you see like there's stairs going down over there. That's actually the original stairs for this basement. Um, there's just paint on the wall where it used to be. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work with this little step up, but that's what we're planning to do with this space. So I'm imagining a scrubbed pine kind of wine bar area, which I'm really excited about. All of this stuff is leaving. This side of the room, um, this fireplace is not leaving. It's actually gonna go on this wall. It's from the 1800s. I randomly found it in a mall <laughs> after Christmas when a store closed. And I bought it not knowing what we would do with it, but knowing that I kind of wanted something in the basement like it someday. So it's gorgeous. And I'll show you that once we're closer to done. It's a little fragile. Um, this space is going to be a craft area and a toy area for the kids and I. So we're going to put another table here. There's plenty of space for the kids to kind of play on the floor. Um, and then... We're actually going to, we're going to put a closet in front of this and then we're going to extend the closet probably to over to where this pipe is right here. And that is going to hold all the toys so that I don't have to see them and all the craft supplies. It's going to be a nice, big, massive closet and um, I can put all the toys in there and hide them. <laughs> um, so basically this is just going to be like a nice, big entertainment space and extra space for our kids as they start getting bigger 
and I'm really excited about it. This space will probably be the easy side to do because as you guys can see, it's already dry, not drywall, but it already has insulation in it. Um, some of the electrical is already up. There will be kind of a bump down in the ceiling here, but the rest of it is a nice tall ceiling for us. Then we have to step up. There's going to be a step here um, and we go to the old side of the basement. So there's our stairs up. This um, closet here is going to come out and we're actually going to make the closet in this space over here because it just makes a little more sense with the way the wall is there. And then this is just going to be kind of a transition space. Um, it'll be a space where I can store things for the recipes I cook. Um, different things I use for cooking and different things I use for serving that we don't use on a regular basis will all go down in a closet here. Um, <laughs> I actually haven't seen this side since Kevin cleaned it out, but this is the old side of the basement. Um, at one point it was done. <laughs> um, and then the owners who, um, who had the house before us took it all out when they renovated the home and added on the addition. So this space is actually going to be a workout space for me. The, um, the treadmill and the elliptical are going to come over here. The flooring will be different in this area. And uh, it's just going to be probably from about, I don't know, here over. So it's a good size space that we're going to use for the workout room. that area back there is going to remain storage. Um, the wall is going to come out, I don't know, maybe a foot past where the door is now, and then it'll be storage in back of there. I think we have to get rid of a lot more stuff. Um, but this is this should be good for now. And then all of this will remain storage. So you see we've got more space over here. This is the really old part of the basement. The heating system is over here. And then there's the paint from those old stairs again. And then this is the oldest, oldest part of the basement. Um, so the cushions will obviously come out when spring is um, he actually here. Right now it's kind of just pretending to be here. And then the rest of this we'll have to reorganize once we have the storage space actually completed. So that's the plan. Um, it should actually go pretty fast because there are some things that are done. So we're excited about it. We're hoping it'll only take a month to do the renovation and, um, and then we'll be done. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you want to see more details about the basement, including my inspiration for it, check out the blog at sugarmaplefarmhouse.com. And remember to hit the subscribe button so you can follow along with everything we're doing here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. Thanks so much, everyone. See you soon.